guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Now, in the last video, we talked about how can you make a script that creates a uh, square in one go, right? So I gave you an example of a script that does not make a square in one go. So I'm gonna start off in this video talking about how to do that. So I'm gonna solve that problem. If you haven't done it, go still try to do that problem. Uh, but I'm gonna go over the solution. And then after that, we're gonna talk about what the heck are variables. So let's keep going. So here, if I run this code, right, uh, notice what actually happens. We get this thing, but we don't want it to go to the right and down. We want it to keep going till it makes a square. So I'm simply going to copy this code and paste it again, uh, except for this line, I, oops, I want, turn 90 degrees and then I want to turn 90 degrees and go straight one more time. So let's run this bad boy and check it out. Let's see what happens. Okay. And boom, we have gotten a square. So if this was your code and you copied this and you went over to cleverprogrammer.com or you went to uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel and pasted it below, that would be exactly what you would need to do. Okay, so simple, go to Python for beginners and simply go turtle in one go and you can paste the code right here. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Whoops, <laughs> the video actually started. So let's talk a little bit about variables. Variables are very simple. It just allows you to store information somewhere. Instead of having to say, uh, oh yeah, my friend with the white skin, or um, you know, he has this length hair, and his nails are this long, and he's this tall. Instead of saying all of that, we store all that information in his name. So we just say John, or Bob, or whoever, right? That's exactly how variables are. Instead of saying all these things at once or, or having to remember them, you just store it in a variable and then you just you know, recall that variable and that's it. So something really simple, I can say uh, Bob right, is um, five years old. He is uh, 68 inches tall and wears brown suits. Okay, now if I say Bob, you can see Bob. Or if I say X is equal to some big number, good luck trying to remember that number, but it's pretty easy to remember X, right? So you can say X and you can say X plus 10, or you can say X minus X and you should get back zero. Anyways, that's uh, variables are very simple. On the left-hand side, you put what you want to store information into, and on the right-hand side, you put what you want to store in there. Okay? That's it about variables. I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about strings.